One of the best things about being Vancouver Police Chief is on a continual basis, I get to hear amazing stories of just excellent police work. On a continual basis, I hear stories about heroism, bravery, about innovation, about dedication, especially when they solve a, a long, cold case. I also hear examples of extraordinary community engagement. But over and above that, I hear stories about civilians who step forward to help police officers in time of crisis, but also to help other citizens who are in great danger and they put their own safety online to help those citizens. So that's why today is one of my favorite days of the year. And that's because I get to hear all these stories again and we get to share all these stories with all of you. So please enjoy the commendation ceremony. Like me, I believe you're gonna find these stories amazing, interesting, uplifting, and inspirational. So thank you very much for attending. The Certificate of Merit is awarded to citizens by the Vancouver Police Board when on their own initiative and in the face of actual or anticipated danger, they've assisted the police in preventing a crime, apprehending or attempting to apprehend an offender, or made a life-saving attempt. On the morning of December 7th, 2012, a 37-year-old man turned into a predator. He would later tell police he was out to hunt humans. But this human hunter made sure that he only went after prey who couldn't fight back. For their willingness to get involved to save other people from a vicious attack, Kyle Sorogoli and Kyle Hughes are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Certificate of Merit. The world can be a scary place for a child, but on September 3rd, 2013, for 12-year-old Corey Wong and his little sister, it became truly terrifying. For showing courage well beyond his years and bravely protecting his little sister, Corey Wong is awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the certificate of merit. As the man smashed his fist again and again onto his neighbor's apartment door, he had no way of knowing whether anyone was home and if his bloody rampage could begin. Then, the door opened. Five people went to the hospital that evening with serious injuries after being senselessly attacked by a man with no apparent motive. Today, seven people are being recognized for their bravery. For their selfless actions in the face of grave danger, Natalie Moon, Stephanie Gilmore, Robert Asquith, Lauren Peterson, Neil and Lynn Gillen and Howard Carley are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Certificate of Merit. Fear can be a terrible thing. It can either paralyze you in the face of great danger or send you blindly into the abyss. Luckily for Joginder Joel and all around him, it put him squarely in the driver's seat. For his brave and immediate actions that certainly saved many others, from crashes and injuries, Jaginder Joel was awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery. The threat of death comes in many forms, often when you least expect it. In the early morning hours of March 10th, 2013, it snuck up behind a young woman. The woman was standing at the counter at a convenience store when suddenly she experienced a warm feeling on her body and saw blood. She was being stabbed in the head and the neck by a deranged man. For their quick and decisive actions that may well have stopped the critical attack from turning fatal, Jason McMillan and Mark Levesque are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Certificate of Merit. When the Police Gang Enforcement Unit goes on its bar watch patrol in Vancouver's Entertainment District, they are literally looking for trouble. On November 17, 2013, in a nightclub on Granville Street, they found it. Because of his quick and selfless actions, Nicholas Gunnison prevented further injury to a police officer and supplied vital evidence to allow police to identify and arrest the man for aggravated assault. Nicholas Gunnison is awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the certificate of man. It was no day at the beach. Morris Dory and Louis Frederick Saint-Germain 
We're sitting on a be bench enjoying the view at Crab Beach Park on January 15, 2014, when their day took a turn for the worse, for their quick and selfless actions that put their own safety at risk to save the life of another. Morris <laughs> Dory and Marie Frederick Saint Germain are awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Certificate of Merit. On the evening of January 31st, 2014, the routine of security guard Caleb Johnson was shattered by the sounds of a fight and the screams of a man who had just been stabbed in the stomach by two attackers. For his brave and decisive actions to put his own safety at risk to prevent further harm to another person, Caleb Johnson is awarded the Vancouver Police Board's highest award for civilian bravery, the Certificate of Merit. Um, and this category is a uh, citation, a very special citation that we're handing out um, in recognition of commitment to civic duty. In the history of the department, it's only been handed out once before and uh, until today. On May 5th, 1948, Taurus Unit Number 298 of the Army, Navy, and Air Force Veterans in Canada was created with the purchase of some land and the construction of a building at East 23rd Avenue and Main Street in Vancouver. In a move of extraordinary generosity, the property has been transferred to the Vancouver Police Foundation. While the club continues to operate, its legacy and endowment will contribute to community programs that enhance public safety and benefit at risk youth for years to come. In grateful recognition of their outstanding commitment to the community, Canadian veterans and Vancouver police members, the following officials of Taurus Unit Number 298 are awarded the Vancouver Police Department's highest award for civic duty, the Chief Constable Citation. President Ian Sinclair, First Vice President Eric Borden, Second Vice President Mary Fraser, Secretary Treasurer Grant Thompson, Recording Secretary Vern Turner, and Executives at Large Peter Searson, Mike McDonald, and Past President Andy Graham. A unit is defined as two or more members, police and or civilian, working together. Members of a unit are eligible for a unit citation for diligent and sustained effort in the performance of duties well above that which is normally expected, or for an outstanding performance in relation to a single investigation, operation, or incident, or for developing a method or program that is significantly affects the operation or one or more divisions in the department. It is sometimes the role of a police officer to make sense of chaos, frenetic scene that calls for officers to be hunters one minute and caregivers the next. It was that type of chaos that greeted five Vancouver police constables on January 31st, 2013, when a man went on a bloody rampage, stabbing residents in his apartment building and hitting others with a hammer. For their high professional ability to quickly shift from tactical to investigative mode, as well as demonstrating caring and compassion, the following officers are awarded the Chief Constable's unit citation. Constables Peter Hooper, Mark Mann, Paul Kemp, Brian Young, and Trevor Skates. In 2011, many residents of the downtown east side, they were being terrorized by a ruthless tyrant who ran an organization that supplied drugs and ensured payment with violence, head shavings, fear, and intimidation. For their dedication and commitment to remove the deadly scourge from our city, the following members of the Project Rescue Team are awarded the Chief Constable Unit Citation. Superintendent Mike Porteous, Inspector Brad Damaris, Sergeant Rob Farrow, Detective Constable Vesnik Dobretzi, and Mike Kim, Constables Kyle Davies, uh, Brody Hopp, Sharon Hunter, Stephen Powell, Byron Tagrim, Mike Wheeler, Lisa Wu, and Crime Analyst Peggy Irwin, and Project Assistant Catherine Driver. When the Vancouver Police Department's Counter Exploitation Unit began a three and a half year investigation into an operation that was forcing young girls and young women into prostitution, for their extraordinary dedication, the following members of the Counter Exploitation Unit are awarded the Chief Constable's Unit Citation. Sergeant Richard Aiken, Detective Constables Brenda Burridge, Kate Caprari, Jim Fisher, Adam King, Colin McLaughlin, 
David Moe, Robin Shook, Kathleen Chang, and Nancy Yingling, crime analyst Lynn Reddick, investigative assistant Andrea Fleming, and victim support worker Shannon DeBush. For more than 100 years, the Vancouver Police Pipe Band has brought honor and recognition to the Vancouver Police Department. Pipe Major Cal Davis, Pipe Staff Sergeant Sandy Marshall, Pipe Sergeant Bob Murphy, Pipe Corporal Matt Reed, Drum Major Bruce Eburn, Drum Staff Sergeant Scott Valens, Drum Sergeant Ed Wagstaff, Constable Dave Cabin, Constable Mark McLeod, Dave Anderson, Michael Beach, John Briggs, Trevor Caldwell, Noel Chalmers, Jim DiPaolo, Cap Fanning, Tim Fanning, Carol Fraser, Katie Fry, Dave Glover, Daryl Graham, Stuart Johnson, Michael McNeil, Mike McDonald, Colin Nichol, Brian Powell, Glenn Richards, Wayne Rogers, Carter Smith, Bill Snedden, Dan Sutherland, and Julie Winston. The Vancouver Police Department's accommodations can be awarded to police officers and civilian staff who demonstrate over the course of a single investigation, operation, or incident skill, judgment, dedication, or integrity in the performance of duty, or for demonstrating the highest standard of police conduct or humanitarianism in a single operation, incident, or investigation, or for diligent and sustained effort in the performance of duties, or for developing a method or program that has a positive effect on the operation of the department. In the early hours of April 12, 1999, a shadowy figure crept to the back door of a house on St. George Street in Vancouver and quietly began to barricade the exit. Then he slipped around to the front porch and poured gasoline in four different spots, including the front door, which he then set on fire. For their persistence and tenacity and their unrelenting efforts, to bring some measure of closure and justice to the families of Nicholas Portman and Alexander Conto, Detective Constables Ryan Smith and Paul Woodcock are awarded the Chief Constable's commendation. A cry for help in the middle of the night and an icy, heart-stopping plunge into dark waters turned into a rescue for both the woman in distress and the police officers who came to save her. For their selfless and heroic actions, Constables Brian Chernoff and Graham Wells are awarded the Chief Constable's combination. And, as Constable Chernoff was unable to attend the Police Services Award ceremony in Victoria this past November, Chief Constable Chu will also present Constable Chernoff with the BC Police Services Award of Valor for saving this woman's life. It was the incredible science and hard work of two Vancouver police members, Sergeant Hal Hamilton and Special Constable Evelyn Peterson, who solved the brutal murder of Mark Rosen in 2004 and gave the judge the evidence he needed to put the killer away for life. For their diligence, commitment, and expertise that sent a brutal killer to prison, Sergeant Hal Hamilton and Special Constable Evelyn Peterson are awarded the Chief Constable's Foundation. On the morning of April 25th, 2013, 911 received multiple calls about a woman who was attacking her roommates with a knife. For his quick actions, it saved a man from certain injury or worse. Constable Craig Look was awarded the Chief Constable of On November 13, 2012, police received a call to assist paramedics. When Constable Sam Primerano arrived, he discovered a disturbing and frightening scene. Ambulance and fire service personnel were confronted by a man armed with a knife who already inflicted wounds to his neck and was now holding the knife to his stomach. For risking their own lives to prevent those of other first responders and the distraught man, Constables Paul Kemp and Sam Primerano are awarded the Chief Constable's commendation.
In the early morning hours of August 1, 2013, police were called to a single-room occupancy hotel to respond to a domestic dispute. What they found was far worse. For their quick and courageous actions to put the safety of the building's residents above their own, Constables Jeff Fletcher and Andre Hotsma are awarded the Chief Constable's commendation. The murder was cold, calculated, and brutal. The victim was a loner, impaired, and of simple mind. The killer was a vicious street enforcer who preyed on the weak and appeared to have got away with it scot-free. For his outstanding police skills, his demonstrated compassion for the vulnerable people on his beat, and for solving a murder that might well have gone unpunished, Constable Chad McRae is awarded the Chief Constable's Commission. Trying to save the life of a suicidal man who doesn't want to be saved is seldom easy. But on the night of November 14, 2013, for three Vancouver police officers, it became a literal bloodbath with their own lives at risk. For their brave actions that clearly prevented the death of a suicidal man and prevented the disarming and possible loss of life of one or more police officers, Acting Sergeant Mark LaBelle and Constables Marina Trenko and Jennifer Weber are awarded the Chief Constable's Commission. Police are no strangers to violence and mayhem, but the scene that greeted Constable Simon Cracknell and Darren Talenko on the morning of April 14, 2014, will rank among the most gruesome and macabre ever reported. For their heroic and decisive actions that without doubt saved the life of a two-year-old child, Constable Simon Cracknell and Darren Talenko are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. On August 1, 2014, at about 5 p.m., off-duty Constable Trevor Kine, driving in his personal vehicle, spotted a man he believed was about to commit a crime. He stopped his car and turned around to attempt to capture the man, but before he could, he saw the man commit an armed robbery at a pharmacy, then rush back to his waiting getaway car and driver. For his heroic efforts and detailed description, he took two one defenders off the street without injury to the public, Constable Trevor Kine, is awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. The sight of swinging batons, screaming protesters, and clouds of tear gas has become a common ending for many protests in cities across North America. When protesters occupied Oppenheimer Park in July 2014, many believed this encampment would end the same way. The fact that it didn't was in part due to the extraordinary efforts of one officer, Constable Allie Galas. For her exceptional efforts in preserving the peace under the most daunting circumstances, Constable Ali Davis is awarded the Chief Constable's Foundation. It was dark and close to midnight when police found a mentally ill woman who was having a psychotic episode while giving birth to twins in a downtown park. During and after giving birth, the woman was screaming at police and staggering around the park. For their quick thinking and decisive actions to save the lives of these two infants, Sergeant Matthew Black and Constables Ryan Riddell, Anne Marie Clark, Mark Bradshaw, and Jennifer Obert are awarded the Chief Constable's Commendation. Okay, so thank you all again for coming. You've been a beautiful crowd, and hopefully see you next year, and enjoy life.